Welcome back. Time for sports. Bakersfield Jam forward Ronaldo Major has played in one NBA game, scoring five points. He has also played in 251 D-League games, scoring nearly 4,000. But for Major, where he plays is not the most important thing. It's the fact that he's even playing today at all. Ronaldo Major loves basketball. You can see when he's out on the floor and all the hustle plays that he makes, uh, you know, it's really a catalyst for the rest of our team. And he's been doing it in the D-League for six seasons. Because you want to be the best in everything you do. I'm not saying I was trying to be the best D-League player ever, but I just wanted to be the best player I could be. And he's been a pretty good one. In 2007, he received an NBA call-up from the Golden State Warriors. And the next summer, Major was invited to Denver Nuggets training camp. And I was talking to George Carl like the day before, and he's like, Major, just keep playing the way you're playing. We really like your attitude and your character, and you work hard. And, you know, I really thought I was about to make that team. But while on the verge of his big break in the game he loves, Major found out his heart was in serious trouble. You know, we felt a little a beat in your heart, you know, and it was like, a, it was like a off beat. It was a loose heart valve and doctors caught it just in time. Most people we found like this are already dead. You know, we found these little loose valves in their heart, you know, so they already be dead. Major needed open heart surgery, but was lucky to be alive. However, the recovery was far from easy. That was rough though, you know, like, like I said, without my family and mainly my dad not encouraging me and building me up each day, he come home from work, I'm sitting on that bed. Major missed an entire basketball season, but just as soon as his heart was healed physically, it was broken again. When we got to the airport, it was funny because when we got out, uh, every time I would leave to go you know saying, to another city or fly out, I'd just give him a handshake and get out the car, you know what I'm saying? But this time, he got out the car and hugged me, and I'm like, that's funny, you never hugged me, you know what I'm saying? One month later, Major's father passed away from a stroke. It was tough. It was tough because that was my best friend, and, you know, we talked a lot after the games, and he would always tell me, you know what I'm saying, play defense, rebound, don't worry about scoring. Major returned to the D-League in 2008 and has had interest from NBA teams, but so far still just the one call-up back in 2007. Major! So now six seasons later, Major has become the D-League all-time leading scorer. Actually, my mother called me, you know what I'm saying, right after the game. I know I'm the caller. She called me and was like, I'm so proud of you and your dad will be proud of you. And, and uh, we had a moment there, you know, she had a few tears and, and, and thought about my dad, but I know he'd be proud of me. Major says he knows returning to the NBA is probably a long shot, but at 30 years old, he is nowhere near close to done. Seven years, I'm going to go to 37. You know, I look at Michael Jordan play till he's 40 years old, and I don't have the same gift as him, but I work as hard as him and I stay in shape. He's a great locker room guy for us, really, you know, sets an example for our team. Uh, but he's also, you know, a tremendous guy that we hope, you know, the NBA will look past his age and give him another opportunity. But if that chance never comes, Major says he will have no regrets from playing the game he loves. You got a second chance of life, and that's why I just walk around with a smile on my face. I work hard. I enjoy my life. I enjoy people. I'm a people's person, and I just live every day like it's my last. That's why I'm always smiling and enjoying because there's no bad days on this earth, you know, so it's like I just I enjoy. I enjoy.